Now, the government has spent the last 36 hours furiously denying reports that they want to bring Britain into alignment with the EU in order to reduce trade barriers. And the Sunday Times says that ministers are considering a Swiss-style arrangement, meaning that many of Britain's regulations would have to follow the EU. But the government says it is categorically untrue. David, what do you think is going on here? This was clearly leaked to the Sunday Times. Why? Yeah, it was leaks, wasn't it? I mean, this is something that's happening here. I think they're testing out the idea mm -hmm. to see what the reaction is. They do this a lot. You know, it's something that is so outrageous. But, you know, it comes out, then there's a reaction, and then the government says, no, 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 we're not going to do that. We categorically deny it. It's leaked. It wasn't actually leaked from Rishi Sunak or anyone in the government. And then later on, they'll come up with some other thing that they I might think of. I don't remember this used out. to be a big part of politics. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, mm. this is something that, like you say, has become part of our political mm. landscape now, hasn't it? Somebody leaks it to the paper. They're just testing the waters. Mm -hmm. They're a bit cowardly, aren't they? They're like, we'll see how this goes down mm -hmm. on Twitter and then we might make a decision about it or not. So what has the reaction been like? Well, it's been, it's been totally against it, actually. And thank goodness for that. You know, even some of the people in the Conservative Party, like Steve Barkley and so on, have come out vigorously against it. But, you know, I would imagine I, that Jeremy Hunt, the Chancellor, would probably be very much in favour of some kind of Swiss-style deal or Norwegian-style deal, which then ties us back into the single market or the regulations of the um, uh, the European Commission and the, the judgments and the rulings of the European like Court the of Justice. Like economic growth and, and... Well, no, we can, we can grow economically outside the EU. Well, we haven't and, managed it, well, have we? Well, there's been a lot of reasons why that is. One is net zero and climate alarmism. There's lockdown. There's the Hang conflict in Ukraine Brexit, and sanctions on Russia. These are all things that have... more damaging to, just than five the seconds, pandemic. Five seconds. These are all things that are like cutting growth. Brexit is a great opportunity for growth, but this particular government hasn't taken the opportunity. Are you still apologising for Brexit and I'm saying it's a good idea? I'm not apologising for it at all. I find that absolutely incredible. It's like somebody that's got this boyfriend who's clearly terrible and they're like, well, well, he's I, really I, nice, he's really nice. And you're like, but tell me why, tell me why. <laughs> just, go, David, David, <laughs> but tell me, just tell me, me, wrong, just tell me one, <laughs> one honest benefit of Brexit at this point. Um, we can make our own trade deals around the world. And they've been terrible. We, well, I mean, that's because we've got a government that is pretty terrible. If so, I was in government, I'd okay, make some good trade one, deals. That one and count. I would control our borders, which theoretically we can do. Oh, yeah, that's we, going uh, we, well. We, we, you know, Amy, it's oh, true. my goodness. We, it's true. We didn't get a good deal because Boris Johnson made a... Terrible, terrible, exactly. bad deal. So that's we the need to thing. finish the unfinished business, exactly. and then it will be good. So we can agree that the deal was not good. So, so what we the need deal to do is move forward. And the way we move get forward, more independence, could, could not the go way back we move into forward the be including rejoining the single market? No, 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 that's going backwards. But how can the you say that? The whole point is we come out of the EU, we come out of the single market, we come out of the customs union, we come out of the, the uh, common fisheries policy and so on, we control our borders, and then we forge so we'll our way as an independent Nation. Less business opportunities, more raw sewage in our in our streams, less people to work. The, the raw sewage is because wages. of the it's because of the you know what what the well, water comes from. It's one of the reasons. One of the reasons. One of the reasons. One of the reasons I thought, and I was genuinely quite ambivalent about the Brexit thing. I genuinely didn't know at the time how I felt about mm. it. I was sort of probably going towards Remain. A big part of it, actually, funnily enough, was about clean water. And I thought, you know what? It's the, it's Europe that makes us have clean beaches. It's the EU that stops us pumping loads of poo into the rivers. We've got more poo in our rivers now, we Amy Nicole, than we've ever had. We have levels of poo in our so, But that's my point. So the EU were nothing to do with it, though, no, right? No, before that, it? we had brilliant water. It's because of Brexit that we now have Oh, no, come on. That's, I don't, that's no, nonsense. because I think, but, my but, point is, I think we could have. Like, my feeling is, if that was what we were concerned about, the government could have said, we're not going to put poo in the water. I don't think we should our have taken government responsibility can be trusted for with that type of thing, though. Clearly, they've demonstrated it. The water companies Look, the, the aren't water doing companies it. We needed the EU to keep that... No, we, we could do we it ourselves. Those rules. They we do could need. Do that ourselves. They do well, we need done it to ourselves. put massive investment into the water system, yes. particularly the Victorian water systems, which don't separate rainwater from sewage. That's the problem because a lot of our water systems are so old and antiquated, and because our population's now grown so much because of mass immigration, they're now no longer able to cope. Can I, can with I 